Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're discussing Ezra Miller. So Ezra Miller has been in the news quite a lot of late and it's typically having to do with his physically assaulting or threatening a person, oftentimes a woman. We saw the video of him in Iceland physically assaulting a lady there and we're all aware of his arrests in Hawaii. Well, now there is a lawsuit that's been filed by the parents of an 18 year old claiming that Ezra Miller groomed their daughter. They're requesting a protective order in order to take control of their child and get her out of his grasp. Now, this report comes from TMZ and it's based on the legal paperwork that's been filed in the case, according to them. At this point, they're just allegations, nothing's been proven yet. Still, the allegations are incredibly disturbing. According to new legal documents obtained by TMZ, Takata Iron Eyes met a then 23-year-old Miller in 2016 when she was just 12. Takata's parents say Miller flew her to London in 2017 to visit the studio where Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Him was being filmed. This was because she was apparently a fan. But at the time, she was only 14 and Ezra Miller was 25. I have questions about that. My first question is why would you as parents, as parents, as guardians of your child, allow a 14 year old out of the country with a man you don't know, a 25 year old man who you know nothing about, just because he's a celebrity, just because he's an actor, and just because he came to your reservation and did some community service doesn't mean you trust him with your 14 year old child. I need parents, I need adults to be more careful when it comes to their children. But let's continue. As the friendship continued, Takata's parents claim Ezra supplied their underage daughter with alcohol, marijuana, and LSD when, I mean, I'm coming across as angry toward the parents and it's because I am because I want to know when this was happening. Did you find all of this out after the fact? I don't believe it. I don't believe that. The way it reads, the way it's coming across is that these are things that were happening and there were things that they knew or should have known. Not only that, they go on, they claim Ezra, best known as the Flash in the DC superhero films, whose solo film is set to drop shortly, disrupted Takata's schooling at a private institute in Massachusetts so much, she dropped out in December of 2021. What's most disturbing about this is not so much what Ezra Miller is alleged to have done, because that's just par for the course at this point. Not shocking, not surprising at all. What's most disturbing, especially in this era where the, the fate, the soul of children is more and more an issue. To see parents dropping the ball this hard, it's sad. It's, it's a sad reflection of, I think, a much larger problem. It continues, it gets worse, it gets worse from here. The parents say they flew to Miller's Vermont home in January to get their daughter and discovered she didn't have her driver's license, car keys, bank card, and other items needed to navigate life independently. You know what that's called? Isolation. They say they also found bruises on Takata's body, which they allege Ezra caused. Takata's parents are asking the court to step in and issue an order of protection against Ezra on behalf of their daughter and a hearing is set for next month. If a court finds that a protective order should issue, if a court finds that guardianship should be granted, even on a temporary basis, I don't see him getting any support for this film, and I don't know how the studio can continue to support him as an actor. But hey, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.